Hey everyone, and welcome to week three of the abdominal challenge. Today I'm going to be talking about the first abdominal group known as the extrinsic core, and that is called the external abdominal oblique. This is the first abdominal layer which transfers the intrinsic load up into the extrinsic. So it gives you the, the ability to transfer this power, this force into the outside world. The external abdominal oblique connects down as far as the, the pubic bone along the linear um, the inguinal ligament on, on, the, on the pelvis, all the way up as far as rib five. Now, the interesting thing about the external abdominal oblique, it connects in with the serratus anterior. The serratus anterior is one of the most important, largest shoulder muscles, and it helps, the serratus anterior helps to stabilize the shoulder blade. So if we can transfer this extrinsic power up into the shoulder, it's going to help us stabilize our shoulder, the most movable joint in the body. I'm going to introduce a couple of exercises today which can help you kind of progress. If you do sometimes notice, it's very common to have a, a difference in strength on the two sides of the um, shoulders. And if you're finding that one shoulder is particularly weak, it's really important to repeat the previous um, abdominal videos I've shared with you. And then you move on to the, the first extrinsic layer. Okay. So when you're ready, lie down. <clears throat> So once you've completed the, the TVA, the internal abdominal oblique, the previous two videos, then I would move on to the extrinsic core, the external abdominal oblique. External abdominal oblique, as it's um, related to the one side, we call it the, the ipsilateral, so same, same side. Then we're gonna be working same arm, same leg. As we've all been practicing through the previous videos is to try and get our breath into our side ribs. This allows an even transfer of pressure, um, both into the abdomen as well as up into the thorax, into the chest. Okay, let's start with right hand, right thigh, breathing in, into side ribs, exhale out for the mouth, curl pubic bone to navel. Inhale into side ribs, Press forward into the thigh, back against the hand, breathe out through the mouth, pubic bone to navel. Repeat one more time, inhale into side ribs. Exhale out through the mouth, press into leg, back against hand. The sensation you'll, you'll experience here is that, that right side, the ribs will kind of draw closer towards right hip. Yeah. Now, as the benefit, it, considering this is a short video, I would suggest to do more than three, anywhere between 10 and 15 rounds on one side, and then we're going to do another 10 and 15 rounds on the other. Breathe in, left side here, left hand, left side, breathe out, exhale, pubic bone to navel, find that even push between hand and leg, inhale, the nose into side ribs. Exhale, find the push. One more breath here. Exhale, out through my, find the effort. Pubic bone to navel. And again, as I mentioned before, if you are noticing there's a difference in strength on either side, I would suggest to do extra, an extra round on that weaker side. Making this a little bit harder, take one of your blocks, yoga blocks, and now you're gonna place the, you're gonna plug the block between the knee and the elbow. This really does fire the external abdominal obliques, just a little bit more challenging. You've got to kind of apply more resistance. Option one is to remain here. You'll see that I have a bent left leg. If you wanna make this stronger, you can of course work on extending this left leg. I would start here. We've got to keep the integrity of the lower back on the floor. Those that are feeling stronger through this movement, the, the closer you bring your left foot to the mat, the more demanding this movement will be. Main important um, areas to note here is to keep your lower back pressing down and you'll feel your front ribs pulling in and down. All right, let's, let's do three here, breathe in. 
press against the block through elbow and thigh, breathe out. Inhale. Keep resistance between elbow and thigh, breathe out. One more breath here, into side ribs, inhale. Strong effort between elbow and thigh, breathe out. And again, I would repeat this anywhere up between 10 and 15 repetitions on the one side. And then when you're ready, switch to the other. I'm gonna add in the more demanding or challenging option here. And give these a try, experiment what you feel is doable. Inhale into side ribs. Exhale, press against the block. Pubic bone to navel. Inhale into side ribs. Press against the block. Exhale through mouth. Inhale into side ribs. Exhale, press into block. Okay, good, everyone. Making this demanding as you want, you could have chosen to continue with the hand to thigh. That would be stage one. Stage two is introducing the block, left foot on the floor. Stage three would be lifting the opposite leg. Yeah, it's going to get more progressive, more challenging as you, you try the different stages. Have fun with this, enjoy it. And I will be tuning in next week for where we'll be looking at the rectus abdominis known as the six-pack group. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for joining.